In the grand scheme of things, um, it is a ban to put, say, no balloons in community centers and parks or anywhere in the jurisdiction that they decide to not have them in Vancouver. I would hate to see balloons as a whole be banned because of a littering issue when it really should be up to the citizens to be responsible for their garbage as a whole, whether it be uh, balloon scraps or Starbucks cups or plastic bags. You're at any venue where there's children around. If I was to go over to that park over there and blow up one balloon, I would have a lineup. Kids will line up for an hour and a half, two hours, sometimes even longer to get, uh, get balloons. And when you hand a child a balloon, hand it to an adult, and the grins are just ear to ear. Uh, it's a loss that is, you can't quantify. It's just, it's there. It's a part of our society. When I've looked at the uh, proposal and the motion that is going into the board meeting tonight for the Vancouver Parks and Recreation, that they are looking at balloons in a very um, uninformed manner. Uh, because they have linked both plastic balloons and latex balloons together, which is simply not true. Uh, plastic balloons don't decompose, and I don't recommend to use them either. However, latex balloons are a very different story. These balloons are made out of organic material, and because it's organic material, it will decompose as fast as an oak leaf in proper settings. However, the proper settings is, of course, to dispose of it properly. Don't leave it in the parks. Don't leave it where wildlife can eat it. Those are dangers that we don't want to see. However, those are littering issues. It's not just solely to balloons. Plastic bags, bottles, bottle caps, cigarette butts are still very prevalent in our parks, and we don't want to see that either. But they're still around, and we don't see anyone doing anything about banning those from parks either.